Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Almighty, we just want to say we love you, we appreciate you, we honor you, Lord, King of glory, Lord of hosts, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Thank you. Thank you for all you did during your convention. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Please accept our worship in Jesus' name. Tonight, as we gather together at your table, we pray that we will do something new. Something that will give us a brand new beginning. And Father, we pray that as a result of tonight's meal, all our mockers will be silenced. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, shake hands with one or two people and say happy new year. God bless you. Exodus chapter 5 Exodus chapter 5 We will read verses 1 and 2 Exodus 5 1 and 2 And afterward Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. Who is a mocker? A mocker is someone who says, who is your God? Where is he? What power has he? Pharaoh said, who is your God? He said, I don't know him. And I'm not going to obey him. Now, when anybody mocks God, when anybody asks, who is God? Or where is God? Such people always get their own answer direct from God. In Psalm 115, verse 1 to 3, Psalm 115, verse 1 to 3, the Bible says, God, it is 
unto you that we are asking for glory to be given. If he then says where is our God, well, tell them that you are in the heavens and you still do as you please. I have good news for somebody tonight that this very month of September 2018 all those who have been saying where is your God will be silenced. Because when Pharaoh said who is God? What can he do? And God answered him and said, I can fight with water, you know. In Exodus 7, verse 14 to 21, Exodus 7, 14 to 21, he changed all the water in Egypt to blood so that the people could not drink. For days, they were dying of thirst. You say, you want to know who I am? Okay. I will answer you. There are ten major plagues that God used to answer Pharaoh. We don't have the time to go over them. But he showed him, I can fight with water. Then in Exodus chapter 10, Exodus 10 from verse 21 to 22, Exodus 10, 21 to 22, he showed him that he can change day to night because he's in the heavens. He's the controller of the suns and the moon and the stars. Darkness so thick covered the land of Egypt. For three days, darkness so thick you can touch it. When God wants to fight, he can fight with water. He can fight by changing light to darkness. In Acts chapter 13, verse 6 to 12. Acts 13, verse 6 to 12. Paul was preaching to a governor and the sorcerer decided to attempt to block his way. And Paul said, I will show you who my God is. He commanded that the man should be blind for a season. And all of a sudden, day became night for that fellow. Because God is still the same and has not changed. This month, God will fight your mockers with water. And change their light to darkness. And then he decided to show that is a very dangerous thing to hate him. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. Proverbs 8, 36. God said, anyone who hates me loves death. You hate God? It means you love death. The last plague that he visited on Egypt, as is recorded in Exodus chapter 12, from verse 29 to 32, Exodus 12, verse 29 to 32, was that he visited the house of every Egyptian with death. He killed all their firstborn. By the time that happened, Pharaoh said, now I know who is God. Now I know there's no one like him. I surrender. As the Lord lives, 
the one who had called me, the one who has sent me. All those who have been mocking you this month, they will be silenced. Now, there's one little thing that I want to discuss. I don't want to preach a long sermon tonight. We're waiting for tomorrow. Before God who silence mockers, he will always separate his own from among them so that when the fire begins to fall, it will not burn its own accidentally. And according to Exodus chapter 12, verse 5 to 7, or 5 to 9, Exodus 12, verse 5 to 9, he separated his own by a special meal. He told them to kill a lamb to eat the lamb roasted with fire and to use the blood of the lamb to mark their doorpost so that when the angel of death is passing by it will pass over them. Each time we come for the Holy Communion we are repeating what happened several thousand years ago in the land of Egypt. We are eating a symbol of the body of the Lamb. The Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. That's Jesus. We are drinking the symbol of his blood as symbolized by the wine. As we partake of this meal, we are saying to the angel of death, when you are silencing mockers, don't include me among those who will silence. That's exactly what we are saying. So when you come to the Holy Communion table, that's why I've, I've cried it again and again. Don't treat this meal as an ordinary meal. It is not ordinary. The passage read to us in the Bible study says, if you eat it on what the lay, it will kill you. It's a very special meal. It's a meal that is related to the Lamb of God who laid down his life so that he can shed his blood for you and his body can be broken for you. It's a meal you approach with tremendous respect. It's a meal that separates mockers of God from children of God. It's a meal that can make all the difference. That's why I'm praying for all of you who are here tonight who are not yet true children of the living God. Please, please, please don't hesitate to come and surrender your life to Jesus Christ. This month is very, very special. Thank God for last month. Thank God for dominion. Thank God for the presence of God in a very mighty manner that we've never seen before in our midst. The only possible follow-up is what we are having this month that our mockers will be silenced
So if you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, I'm going to count from one to five. Before I say five, come and stand before me. And I will pray for your salvation. If you claim that you are already born again, but your life has not changed, then it means somebody is lying. So, make sure you have genuine salvation and you can come tonight. Because if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. He is different. He must be different. So, if you have not given your life to Jesus, I'm going to count from one to five. Before I say five, come and stand before me. I will pray for your salvation and then we'll continue from there. I'm counting now one. Two. Three. And those of us in the old arena, we just move towards the altar. There are men of God there waiting. And my prayer will reach out to you too. Those of you who are listening by radio, by television, on the internet. If you will stand, God will recognize that you are surrendering your life to him, and my prayer will reach you there too. Three. Four. Thank you very much. Those of you on the way, keep coming. And pray as you come. And those of you in front, cry to the Almighty God now. And say, Father, give me genuine salvation. Save my soul. Forgive all my sins. Let your blood wash away my sins, Lord. Make me a brand new creature. Change me completely. Let me become a member of the family of God. Be my Lord. Be my savior. Cry unto him. He will answer you. And the rest of us, let's stretch our hands towards these people and intercede for them. Let us pray that the one who saved our souls will save their own souls also. Intercede for them that God will give them genuine salvation, that they become brand new creatures in him. Let's pray that beginning from now, they be accepted into the family of God and they will become worthy members of the household of God. Pray for them for another one minute and then I will pray. And if you are still on the way, you have to hurry up now because I'm about to pray for salvation. Thank you, Father. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen. amen my father my god i want to bless your holy name because your word is yea and amen and you are the one who said whosoever will come unto you you will know wise cast out these people have come to you now please receive them amen. save their souls amen. let your blood wash away their sins let them become brand new creatures in you. <laughs> Write their names in the book of life. And from now on, let them serve you forever. <laughs> Please, anytime they call on you from now, answer them by fire. <laughs> and let them serve you to the end. <laughs> in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now, those of you who have come forward, let me hear you shout hallelujah. I rejoice with you because from now on, by God's grace, I'll be praying for you. 
And uh, so I'm going to need your names, your address, and your prayer requests. If you turn to your left, you see a man there waving a piece of wood. Kindly follow him. He will take you to where some pastors are waiting. They will collect the information I need, and then they bring you back. God bless you. You can begin to go now. Let's clap for Jesus as they go. And if we are clapping, let us really, really clap. Thank you. Now, tonight, when they serve you the bread and I give the go ahead, then you eat. When they serve you the wine, you hold on to it so we can drink together as one. When you eat the bread tonight, your prayer is that everything physical that is mocking God in your life, sickness, disease, ache, pain, Barrenness, everything physical that is mocking God in your life, that it should be silenced even tonight. Then when we serve the wine, we will tell you how to pray. So when they serve you the bread, so I give this signal, you eat. And when we serve the wine, you hold on till we have all been served. The Lord Jesus, the very night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat, this is my body broken for you, do this in remembrance of me, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So you eat and begin to cry to God. Everything physical in my life that is mocking God, let it be silenced tonight. Christ, there is power, my 
touch my soul Let your fire Touch my spirit Touch me, oh Lord Make me all Let your fire Touch my soul. Touch my soul. Let your fire. Let your fire. Let it touch my spirit. Touch me, oh Lord. Touch me, oh Let your fire. Touch my body, let your holy fire, let it touch my soul, let your fire, and let it touch my spirit, oh, touch me, oh, Lord, and me. Let your fire Let it touch my body Let your holy fire Let it touch my soul Let your fire Let it touch my spirit Touch me, oh Lord, yeah, make me whole. Let your holy fire, let it touch my body. Holy Spirit, let your fire, let it touch my soul. Let your fire touch my spirit. Touch me, oh Lord. Make me all. Make me all. Now, if you have not been served bread. Just in case we have not been served bread, you please shout hallelujah. If we have not been served wine, then wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Okay, let's stand please. Thank you, pastors. You can go back to your seats. When you drink the wine tonight, your cry to God will be that everything spiritual that is mocking God in your life will be silenced. Yes. Every demon, every spiritual husband, spiritual wife, every curse, Every evil covenant, everything spiritual in my life that is mocking God. Father, let them be silenced tonight. That be the prayer you pray as you drink the wine. I hope we are ready at the old arena. Okay. After the same manner also he took the cup when he has sought, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as he drink it in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father. 
I'm of the sun. Yeah. And of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Father. Everything spiritual in my life mocking you. Let it be silenced tonight. Silence them all. Silence them all. Silence them. Silence them all. Everything spiritual in my life that is mocking you. The Almighty God, every demon, every evil force, every evil covenant, every curse, everything evil, everything that is not of God, that is mocking you, saying, where is my God? Father, silence them, silence them tonight, silence them tonight. Silence them to me. Silence them to me. Silence them to me. Silence them permanently tonight. Once and for all. Silence them to me. Thank you, Father.
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's remain in an attitude of worship. We can be seated and pass the cups to the aisles so that they can collect the cups. Then let's take an offering. We're going to pray with that offering. We're going to ask the Almighty God to silence every financial situation that is mocking God in our lives. And tonight, we will put an end to poverty permanently in our lives. That in every area in which we are suffering insufficiency, and the Almighty God will arise tonight and silence everything mocking God. So you lift your offering to the Almighty God and pray. And say, Father, every devourer in my life, silence them. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty. Every devourer. Devouring my finances. My Lord and my Savior, silence them. Silence them. Silence them tonight. Silence them permanently. Silence them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So with faith that the Almighty God had heard and that the answer is come, let's dance towards the nearest basket and drop our offering, and then we'll have the closing prayer. Over to you, band. I will exalt you, Lord. For thou hast lifted me above my enemies, Lord, your banner over me is love. Halle, halle, hallelujah. I will exalt you, Lord. I will exalt you, Lord. For thou hast lifted me. You have lifted, you have lifted I'm me. Over my God. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, we give thanks to God. Hallelujah. My 
And so, Father, we want to say thank you. We know once you have spoken, it is already done. For your children who had come tonight, by tomorrow, let them be sharing their testimonies. Every mocha physical, silence them. Every mocha spiritual, silence them. Every mocha material, silence them. Father, bless the offering of your children. Sanctify it. Use it for your glory. And please, Lord God Almighty, don't let your children ever lack again. And let tomorrow be extraordinary. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, we all know that tomorrow is a very special day for those who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And not for them alone. All of us who have anything left in our lives that could still be challenging God, tomorrow is a special day for all of us. Invite all your friends, invite, invite everybody. I believe, God, that tomorrow will be the kind of night we have never seen before. Those of you who believe that even before tomorrow, your mockers will already be silent, let me hear 